some extra information about any it is used to show some extra information about any content or about any text about any text it is used to show some extra information about any text okay but in this details tag in this details tag we are going to use another sub tag another tag called summary tag another tag called what summary tag so how you are going to use this summary tag how you are going to use details tag what you will get in the output we'll see save it now see this is the just description showing extra information about any text now we'll see the example on the details tag details tag open details tag close in details tag what you write you take summary some copyright 2016 save it now this is summary tag contains now after summary tag i am writing some text this is a sample text so well, i have written some text save it now here refresh see you are writing copyright 2016 by durga soft solution this is the text which you are going to see by default that means whatever the text which you are going to write in the summary tag only you can see by default the text which is not there in the summary tag you cannot see by default can you see no but when you click here arrow mark will get see when you click on that arrow mark then you can see the text this is sample text again click on the text it will hide click it will come click it will like that that we can show some extra information about any something only when i click on that particular uh, uh, text then only it will display the remaining text see click to display why i am not getting any gap means i didn't give any gap or i didn't give any styles for this text if you give any styles for this text that styles also it will apply for example i will give this in heading 2 now like that not only text you can take any image or any other information about the site if you just click on that area only it will come see and i click this it will come click it will hide this is about details tag providing extra information about the website next one is figure tag what is the next tag figure figure tag and figure caption tag or we call it as fig caption tag figure tag and figure caption tag so in html5 they have introduced one tag called figure tag and fig caption tag that means we can take one image that is in the figure tag and for that image we can provide caption that means first i should take figure tag inside i will take image src tag then i can take fig caption tag and write some caption close fig caption tag close figure tag so this is the general syntax okay now how you are going to write that one in one example we'll see first figure tag next inside that figure tag i am going to write img src we'll put one image so i will take image path
or else we will download one sample image. Now, the image which is there in 1, 2, 3 in desktop, that image I will take now. 1, 2, 3 dot jpg. Save it. Sorry, I should write like this because independent tag should also be closed. Now, we can give caption, fig caption. Beautiful scenery. Some caption I am writing for that image now. Save it. Now, here you refresh. See, figure below you are getting caption. And you will get some gap also. See, because if you take figure automatically, this margin gaps it will take automatically. If you want to give any height width for that image, you can give width 250. 250. Height 200, save. Come here, refresh. See? If you want more width, you can take more width. Save. See? Like this, you can take. This is about figure, image, figure caption. Okay? We can take. For any image, you can take caption now by using this figure tag and figure caption using option. Next, we have some other markup tags. Before going to see those markup tags, what we are going to learn is the structure of HTML5 document. Structure of HTML5 document. Structure of HTML5 web page. What is the structure of the HTML5 web page? The first is doc type html this is the compulsory next html compulsory head compulsory title some xyz title close head close body close html normally these are the tags minimum we are going to use in html4 now in html5 to design the site they have given some markup tags. The first tag is header, tag open, header tag close. So in this header tag, we should show or we should write, it contains some information regarding the header section of the web page, header section of the web page. That means in header tag only we are going to create the header section of the page. That means we will open header tag and we will close header tag. In that header tag we are going to write the or in, in that header tag we are going to write the header part content. After header part next we have is nav part. Nav means navigation. In this navigation part only we are going to write the linking code. Means page to page home, about content like that menu bars or any, any extra linking code or if you want to create any menu bar, then we are going to create that in the nav tag, that we are going to create in the nav tag. First header section will come, then we will get navigation section. After navigation section, we have section tag only, separate. So by using section tag, we are going to create the content section, normal content. In that section tag also, we are not going to create that directly, we are going to take everything as articles. Article tag open, article tag close. In article tag, some sun information. Like that, we can take in one section, we can take so many articles. See, in one section, it contains two, three articles also. Next, after sections have been completed, finally, we will take footer section. We will take what? Footer section. So, in this footer section, I am going to write the footer content. So, footer content means what you will write generally contact information, contact information about the site, okay, copyright information, okay, social net, social sharing icons, 
Facebook, LinkedIn and sharing icons, social sharing icons. So generally these things we are going to put in the footer, footer of the web page. So when you see the web page division, we have header section that we will put in header tag, navigation section means linking section that we will put in nav tag, normal content we will put in section, in that sections also we will create article wise and we will put content. Finally, we have our footer section where we will put the content in the footer way. So these tags you just remember, these all these tags are called as semantic tags, we call them as also semantic tags, header tag, footer tag, navigation tag, section tag, article tag, all these tags are also called as HTML5 semantic tags. What is the meaning of semantic means when they are used for the site designing purpose and they will follow some semantic structure, structural way, that's why they are called semantic tags. This is about our HTML5 and how to use this one. So we have some new markup tags that we will continue in the next class. Okay.